Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of equations by substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, minus 5x minus 8y equals 17, and 2x minus 7y equals a negative 17. And we want to solve the system by substitution. Well, I want to get a variable by itself. And the easiest one I think, or easiest way to do it, I think is with a second equation. And I think I can get x by itself fairly easily. So you take this, and to do that, I have to add a 7y to both sides. So that gives us 2x here equals positive 7y minus 17. Well then from there, to get x by itself, divide both sides by 2. x is now by itself, but 7y, or 7 divided by 2 is 3.5, so we have 3.5y here minus 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. So now from there, we're going to take that information, that value for x, and plug it into x in our first equation. So we have a negative 5 here, and instead of x, I'm plugging in 3.5y minus 8.5, and that, uh, oops, that equals, finish the equation out there, Sean, minus 8y equals 17. So again, we're solving for y, distribute 5 to both parts, or negative 5. Negative 5 times 3.5 is a negative 17.5, keep the y. Negative 5 times a negative 8.5 is a positive 42.5. Minus 8y equals 17. I'm going to subtract a 42.5 to both sides. Let's get our like terms together. And we're left with, on the right-hand side, 17 minus 42.5, which is a negative 25.5. Negative 17.5y minus 8.5y is a positive 25.5y. Divide both sides by 25.5. And y by itself is equal to, well, negative 25.5 divided by 25.5 is a negative, or sorry, it's a um, Oops, whoopsie, that's a negative, right? That's a negative 25.5, excuse me. Good thing I caught it there. If you had caught it already, let me know down below. That's a, two negatives make it a positive. So we have positive one here for y. Almost messed that up. Good thing I caught it though. All right, so I have y by itself here. I need to plug it into one of my other equations to solve for x. I think the second equation is easier. Maybe it's just because I like working with the number two. Two x minus seven times one equals a negative 17. 2x here minus, well, 7 times 1 is 7, equals 17. Add 7 to both sides. And 2x here equals 17 plus a uh, 17 plus a 7. Oh my goodness, this is minus 17. I keep messing up my negatives. Whew, negative 17 plus 7. Oof, this video's been bad, sorry. Um, negative 17 plus 7 is a negative 10. But I, I caught them all, so give me props to that at least. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals negative 10 divided by 2 is a negative 5. And so our coordinate point is negative 5 comma 1, and with all my almost mess ups with negatives, but I caught them all, our final answer is negative 5 comma 1. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com